Hello, this is Nigeria in 2050 and time again for the weather forecast. The satellite imagery you are seeing is an animation of rainstorms which have been affecting the country in the past one week, resulting to flooding and submerging of land, submerging of vehicles, submerging of farmlands. As we can see, people displaced from their homes and a general effect on livelihoods. Today again, we are expecting a repeat of such a widespread activity as conditions in the atmosphere suggest so. We see moisture influx from the Atlantic Ocean into the country increasing and we see increasing relative humidity values in red coloration as shown at levels of 1,500 meters above the ground. Let's now quickly take a look at today's forecast in details. Starting with temperature, usually in Nigeria, the highest temperatures are recorded during the hot season in March and in April. But in July, we usually experience a drop in temperature as a result of the rains. However, today, maximum temperature values are still likely to reach 36 degrees Celsius over the northeast, 35 degrees Celsius over places like Sokoto. And as we move down the coastal areas, we are to look out for values within the range of 29 over Lagos and 31 degrees Celsius over Port Harcourt. The lowest temperature value is expected over just Plateau at 26 degrees Celsius. These temperatures coupled with the increase in relative humidity and other conditions are likely to favor storms over the northeastern part of the country in the morning. As the day progresses, these storms propagate westwards and are likely to affect the central parts of the country and other parts of the south. Partly cloudy to cloudy conditions are likely to prevail over the northeast. From this forecast, it can be said that risk of flooding is high, particularly over the coastal areas. The intensity and frequency of such events are likely to increase as the days go by and as human activities of discharge of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere continues unabated. IPCC posits that global warming is caused mainly by man than by natural causes. The global temperature trend shows increasing trends from 1880 to recent period. Trends of temperature over Nigeria shown below also show an increasing trend in line with the global trend up to recent periods. Projected temperature anomalies show that temperatures are likely to increase in the future. And this shows that climate change is real in Nigeria, coupled with the charts and other features that we have seen. It shows that climate change is already a reality in Nigeria. There is need, therefore, for man to work towards safeguarding our environment. It is known that as humans continue to depend solely on fossil fuel for energy, they discharge carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This carbon dioxide traps terrestrial radiation and keeps the earth unusually warmer than normal. We can therefore safeguard our environment by taking measures towards adaptation and mitigation against effects of climate change. This we can do by planting of trees to replace trees that are lost through deforestation. We can also resort to alternative energy sources like solar and nuclear en energy sources. We can also institute policies that will check an, our land use practices. When this is done, we can safeguard our environment and secure the future for our future generation. Thank you for watching. Comme vous venez de le voir, le changement climatique va de plus en plus influer sur les conditions météorologiques quotidiennes. Toutefois, nul besoin d'attendre 2050 pour en constater les répercussions. Aujourd'hui, déjà, dans de nombreuses régions du monde, on observe une intensification des chutes de pluie, des inondations, des orages, des vagues de chaleur, des sécheresses. Nous devons limiter ces conséquences néfastes autant que possible. Pour ce faire, la meilleure méthode est de réduire rapidement et significativement nos émissions de dioxyde de carbone et d'autres gaz à effet de serre. Par ailleurs, dans la mesure où la planète est déjà soumise à un réchauffement important, nous devons apprendre à nous adapter. 
à l'évolution du climat. Il est nécessaire de renforcer les capacités d'adaptation au climat en aidant nos villes, nos sociétés à mieux faire face aux phénomènes météorologiques extrêmes. Nous devons réduire encore plus les risques de catastrophes, Normalement, grâce à des systèmes d'alerte précoces améliorés, en informant les collectivités et les autorités des meilleurs moyens de se protéger contre tous les aléas importants, y compris les cyclones, les ondes de tempête, les inondations, les sécheresses, les extrêmes de température. Nous devons également développer les services météorologiques existants en créant des services climatologiques qui aident la population à comprendre quelles sont les vulnérabilités actuelles et futures face au climat et comment en tenir compte. Le message des scientifiques est clair. Plus nous réduirons les émissions de gaz à effet de serre, moins nous aurons à faire pour nous adapter et plus légère sera la facture. Œuvrons donc ensemble à un avenir plus sûr et viable pour nous-mêmes et pour les générations futures. Je vous remercie.